Stellar Blade is one of my favorite games of the last few years, and it does appear that the future of this game and it actually becoming a franchise is pretty bright. I wanted to take a couple minutes today to go over a few different developments that have come up now about the game, about a potential sequel, about DLC, and more that have been confirmed by Shift Up, the developers of this game, and where this game is at right now in terms of its current state. Now, before we hop into it, if you enjoy this video, you want to leave a like, subscribe, let me know what you think. I appreciate you very much. I do have a question of the day, which is, if you've played Stellar Blade, what's your favorite outfit and why? All the, Don't spare the details. I really want to know why. Let me know. But here's the thing with Stellar Blade. This game does a lot right. It's a game that I think has a really responsive combat system. I think it's pretty simple in terms of its scope, where it has a large world, but it doesn't overreach and lose intentionality on its content. And it also stayed within the realm of its budget, despite being a PlayStation exclusive. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of video games and video game developers that reach too high into the sky, and then it all comes crashing down when they're not able to sell enough units. Now, the reason we're getting all of these updates is because Stellar Blade has reportedly, according to what people are saying online, sold over 1 million units at this point, which to some people is going to sound like not that much. It's like, well, GTA sold millions of units. Well, what about this game? This is a new IP, and it was also a game that was kind of embroiled in some controversy when it was coming out with the ideas of womanly beauty, the ideas of the main character. Uh, I believe even IGN, I think it was IGN France, but it was one of the many needless IGN branches calling uh, Eve from Stellar Blade an over-sexualized doll and saying that she was basically created by a man who had never felt the touch of a woman before. There was a lot of stuff like this around the game that very easily could have tarnished its reputation and pushed players away, but instead seems to have actually pushed players towards the game and gotten them to buy it. And because of all of this, in a new presentation, Shift Up actually laid out a lot of future plans for the game whether it be this year and beyond. And some of those things were a confirmation, like a 100% confirmed photo mode, which is coming out. We already knew that they were working on it, but this is like a, no, we are releasing it around August of this year in 2024. More new outfits as well, which are supposedly after October. Worth mentioning, they've already added in several outfits with different updates that were free and collaboration with other IP as well. That's already good news. Like that means that Stellar Blade has a life outside of itself, that they see it actually existing as a brand that can interact with others. They actually did say that they are throwing around ideas for more DLC to this game and a potential sequel in the Stellar Blade universe. Now there weren't actual details revealed about these things, like they weren't saying what the DLC is. We don't know if it's going to be like a full on story expansion DLC. We don't know if it's going to be just a bunch of new outfits and quality of life updates again, but like, you know, new modes or things like that. I mean, for all we know, they could put in a Natiba survival mode to the game. We have no idea. And they did actually talk about as well that they were really concerned with making a good new IP and they weren't actually trying to make something to squeeze out extra profits, which is why they avoided putting microtransactions in this game, even though people have pretty much all agreed that the way that this game is with Eve, her body, her beauty, uh, the way people have connected with the cosmetics, I'm sure they could have made money off microtransactions, but they didn't want to. They wanted to make a good game, and I think they succeeded on that. Now, in terms of the actual sales of this game, we don't know the full on sales number, but like I think I mentioned earlier in this video, it is understood that it has sold over 1 million units. But that said, they were previously undecided about whether they wanted to actually, you know, pursue DLC or if this game was going to get a sequel. So this means that wherever the game is at now, because I believe the update in May was kind of when people thought it was around 1 million units, wherever it's at now, it's in a better spot than it was and it's in a good enough spot that they most certainly, I would say, at least doubled their budget. And the reason that I'm spitballing that is because the reported cost of a game like, I believe, Horizon Zero Dawn was only $49 million. I mean, I've seen two figures, $49 million, and I've seen people say less than 50 million euros. Now, the reason that that's important is because Horizon Zero Dawn was a game that was actually made in a more expensive area to develop games than Stellar Blade to my understanding, and it also was a game that was made 
with a development team of something like 300 people. Stellar Blade only had a development team of something like 100 people. So if we kind of, you know, work some numbers here, while nothing is ever going to be concrete, my assumption is that with only 100 people-ish on the development staff, it selling over a million units is actually really dang good for a new IP because that means that they would have basically probably tripled their budget at least uh, and because their budget was probably something like 20 to 30 million you know dollars US dollars I would say at, at most if we're going off the cost of other games that said there are also games like The Last of Us Part 2 which reportedly had a 212 million dollar budget so there's a lot of games with a lot of varying budgets this is just my spitballing uh, from someone who studies this industry from the outside and eventually does want to make my own thing in it in some way as well, I do think that that's very interesting to see the success of Stellar Blade. Because when I first saw the 1 million figure, I was like, how did it not sell more than this? But I actually think that's a very good indicator that there's a lot of interest in this brand. A lot of people love Stellar Blade, they love Eve. And you know what? I think this is a game that's good for everyone. Now, I've seen a lot of people say those dumb over-sexualized doll comments, which like at that point, I just think there's no helping you. But I do think that it's important to see that a game that encapsulates and promotes womanly feminine beauty a game that has this strong badass female character who's actually interesting, a game that has responsive combat and is not a massive budget overinflated game that reaches above and beyond what it should be doing, is this successful? That it now is warranting DLC, sequel, additional modes, and more. And it's already gotten several free updates. It's great to see where Stellar Blade is at. I'm so excited as a fan of the game. I'm so excited to see more. And if you're interested in seeing more Stellar Blade, I'm actually playing through the game over on my Let's Play channel, Degenerate Plays. The link will be in the description down below and I'll also try and put it in the pinned comment. If you wanna help support this channel even further, we do have our own Fortnite code, which is DJAY123. And we do also have our own wonderful, beautiful, amazing shop, CosmoBunny.shop, where we make handmade resin, pieces these are from comic books and manga that were damaged they were unable to be sold so we take those we transform this art into something new we put the rest in the recycling we're upcycling this stuff and giving it back to you i mean assuming you buy it and of course you can also use code djay123 for 10 percent off your first purchase on that site goes to help support our channels is very awesome and my wife also makes hand beaded jewelry over there too Great for everybody, love it. Hope you check it out. Have a fantastic day. And as always, everyone, stay shway.